So this is a little twist on unit conversion. Most of the time, you're not going to have two units and that is your only option. Um, usually when you have two units, what it means is that it goes in the middle. It's something to help you convert. But um, every once in a while, you'll get a situation where you might need to convert a gram per milliliter into something else that has two units. You're allowed to do this, and that's why I'm showing this example. But again, this is not as common of um, something that you have to do all the time, but it kind of expands your idea. This right here is 2.0 grams, and that's obviously per milliliter. Now look, in chemistry, if you've got something like that, we like to have numbers everywhere. So this is an understood one. It's like saying 2.0 zero grams divided by one milliliter. That's how many grams are in one milliliter of the substance. You'll see us doing this quite a bit this semester. So the first thing is that it wants us to convert um, to kilograms. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. And then it also wants to convert to a megaliter. So to get from a gram to a kilogram, should be getting good at this. Um, it's not actually on our chart up here, um, but if you look at the periodic table, you should be able to get from a gram to a kilogram if you look at the metrics chart. So notice my units here, my grams, my grams, and I'm at my kilogram unit. But my milliliters hasn't been changed. So now, and this is what's weird, we still use diagonals. I can't put a diagonal, I can't put it there because they're not diagonal from each other. So I'm going to put a milliliter there. So again, that's his match over here. That's his match, milliliters to milliliters. I'm trying to get to a megaliter, so I always go to the base unit. So a liter is not a megaliter. So again, I'm doing another diagonal and I'm gonna get that to a megaliter. So again, hopefully you can see these diagonals. So if you're unsure about the units here, I have a grams times a kilograms times a milliliter times a liter. And on bottom, I have a milliliter times a gram times a liter times a megaliter. So I'll cancel my milliliters, I'll cancel my grams, I'll cancel my liters, and I will end up with a kilogram per megaliter. And like I said, so those will cancel, this will cancel, and this will cancel. I just put the numbers in, in one kilogram. This is one times 10 to the third. You can double check the, the uh, metric chart if you need it. And one milliliter, these are one times 10 to the third liters. And then in one of those, this is one times 10 to the sixth over here. Um, and that's actually a negative three right there. And then when I fill this in, I'll get, I'm going to go across the top, 2.0 2 times 1 times 1, you have to put those in, times 1, exponent key, 6, divided by 1, divided by 1, exponent key, 3, divided by uh, 1, exponent key, negative key, 3, Ooh. I'm not sure what just happened there. One. <laughs> Divided by one. And this turns out to be two times 10 to the sixth. And that will be kilograms per megaliter. And let's check our sig figs. Whoops. I'll throw that out of the way. And so our sig figs right here, this is exact, because that's on the metric chart, that's exact, that's on the metric chart. And this is exact, this is on the metric chart. So this is all on the metric chart. So I've got one, two sig figs, so I need this to have two sig figs. And there I go.